Okay, so know this right now. You're breathing wrong. 95% of you are. And if the 5% probably have breathing classes. You and bow hunting. You think chest breathing is good? Or you think right. ah, diaphragmatic breathing? Every, mm. every sniper, go to with Tim Kennedy. I guarantee you he's freaking horizontal breathing. breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing. So that's number one. Then I go into the next attack, nose breathing. Because everybody says, I breathe through my nose. Yeah, okay. What if I smash your nose in? What about that? What if you have a cold you have to fight? You can't breathe through your mouth? Come on, don't be stupid. Yeah, but this thing, you know, it works through the mouth. You're only using it for about five minutes a day. And it will strengthen your breathing muscles, which, by the way, you have 11 pounds of breathing muscles. That's a lot. And with breathing muscles, I, I say the, the mover for inhaling is your diaphragm and your intercostals, which are the muscles in between your ribs. The external intercostals are for inhaling. Expand your chest. I'm going to go in a little bit how that works because that's why I bought this weird thing here with me. What do you got with? This weird, it's a, it's a steamer, a vegetable steamer, but I'll, I'll, I'll transform it into a diaphragm in a little bit. Why'd you bring a vegetable steamer? You will, I'm going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> so, now let's take another part. How does your endurance increase? What do you think is the reason? You train really hard, I know, but what happens when you train really hard? Your recovery gets better. You, you know, your body gets accustomed to it and conditioned. That's that's it. You you train a muscle over and over again. It becomes more efficient. Right. And the word efficient already says it. Uses less oxygen. Therefore, your stamina increases. Boom. Okay. Good. Let's go to the next one. Metaborflex. That's a nice word for gassing. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're just gassing. This is what happens when you're gassing. Let's say you're running a hill, a very steep hill, 45 degree angle. It's a hard one, hard one, hard one. And suddenly it feels like you hit the wall. What happens at that moment is that your body starts redirecting oxygenated blood. And it takes it away from your legs because it sends it to your number one priority in the body, which are your breathing muscles. Because if your breathing muscles don't work, you die. If you can't expand your chest, you die. Okay, so endurance works. Muscle training over and over again gets more endurance. Okay, but my freaking uh, intercostals and my diaphragm, they steal the blood. Blood stealing is literally a medical term away from my limbs as soon as I'm getting tired. Okay, what if I update those 11 pounds of breathing muscles? Mm. What if I give them more endurance over and over again so they become more efficient? Now you delay your gassing that's normally, let's say, happens here happens there. That's why every single endurance athlete in the Olympics will actually use inspiratory muscle training. It blows my mind that there's, you have coaches here. Oh, he's the coach of the year, coach of the year, and they don't spend time on breathing? You're an idiot. 